InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. The die is cast. Today we unveil the winner of the third season of InterSwitch SPAC Kenya. Who will it be? Stay tuned to find out. This is InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition Kenya 3.0 Proudly switched on by InterSwitch. Never stop. InterSwitch SPAC has been recognizing, inspiring and rewarding Kenyan students for their participation in STEM. 12 episodes have aired so far on this third season. Out of 54 contestants, only 6 stand. And they have proven that their pursuit for the grand prize is unrelenting. Today, they shoot for the ultimate prize, 1.5 million Kenya shillings in scholarship and of course the bragging right to be called the best STEM student in Kenya. Because today marks the crescendo of the season, we have with us in studio special guests to honor our students and to present the prizes. It is a great pleasure to welcome Ms. Cherry Eromosele, the Group Executive Vice President, Marketing and Communications InterSwitch for the welcome speech. Dear Sparksters, teachers, parents, and friends from the media, I would like to say, Karibu ni sana. Welcome and good day. At InterSwitch, we are inspired by our vision of a prosperous Africa, driven by the exchange of value and commerce, an Africa where Africans are equipped to solve the peculiar challenges that we face on our continent. This was one of the realization that inspired the introduction of Interswitch Spark, a desire to change the African narrative by equipping the children of today with the necessary skills required to shape the future of our dear continent. In the words of the famous philosopher, Plateau, the direction in which education starts a man will determine his future life. Each year, we see an impressive display of passion and share brilliance on display amongst our young stars. Indeed, there are exciting rewards lined up for the winners. The first place winner will receive 1.5 million Kenyan shillings in scholarships and spread over a period of five years, a brand new laptop, and the title of the best science student in Kenya. The second and third prize winners will go home with 750,000 and 150,000 Kenyan shillings respectively, worth of scholarships, and a brand new laptop each. We are confident that these rewards we go a long way in supporting the dreams and aspirations of our winners as they strive for a greater and more impactful future. I must acknowledge some of our past winners, Jemima Asoro, pursuing a career in medicine and surgery at the Egerton University, Norbert Longolo, who is undertaking his Bachelor of Science Civil Engineering Program at the University of Nairobi, and of course, Odiado Ashley Modenyu, who is also undertaking a graduate program in medicine and surgery at the University of Nairobi. Carl Uwangi is also pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering at the University of Nairobi. Hamza Kamrudin and Ignatius Suzwa are both pursuing degrees in medicine and surgery at the University of Nairobi. I more especially acknowledge the support of the government of Kenya, the Ministry of Education, and all the educators who have been instrumental in preparing the participants for the competition and ensuring the success. I must also thank the team at InterSwitch, as well as our technical partners, Just Media, 
for all the handwork that has gone into making this initiative a success. And finally, to the Sparksters, today I challenge you to continue to dream and work for a better Africa. Thank you very much. You are a role model to our Super Sparks, and we appreciate you for making this possible. Flavian, yes. the only lady on stage. How does it feel amongst the boys? It feels amazing. I'm sure some of your schoolmates have congratulated you already and given you sort of a push. They've told me to be confident mm -hmm. and give it my best. Hussein, yes. welcome to the final. Thank you. So, with all the knowledge that we've seen all of you demonstrating on the stage, what would you like to change in your community? I would like to change the problem of medicine in the hospitals. In the hospitals? Yeah. All right. What challenge have uh, your, say, community members been experiencing? Inadequacy of medicine. So you'd like medicine to reach your community and save lives? Yes. Thank you for sharing, Hussein. Okay. Our contestants, welcome to the final stage. There is so much in store for today's episode. Kindly. Keep it, Interswitch Spark Kenya 3.0. Hmm, let me tell you a story. Our story blooms over two decades ago in a humble university dorm room where the weight of the dark put a strain on our hands, a stain on the sheet where we mapped out our plans, but innovation lit our eyes with a fire to blaze the trail, to change Africa. One solution, one transaction at a time. Our ears listened to the chimes, the buzzing tune of bright ideas. We stretched out our hands, and remember what we did? We flipped the switch. We flipped the switch, it was no ordinary motion. It was to herald a new notion. It is a champion's charge, your invitation to stand on our shoulders. It is your time for innovation. So go ahead, flip that switch. Build that business, scale that hitch. Africa's future is waiting on us. And what looks like the sky is only the dew. We are on the brink of something new. Because at InterSwitch, we never stop. So you don't stop. Welcome back. This is InterSwitch Spark Kenya 3.0, the finals. We are in for a great show of grit, brilliance, and determination. Today, boys will be separated from men and girls from women. Interswitch Spark is played in two levels, the foundation round and the advanced round. To our finalists, the die is cast. It is now in your hands and I wish you the very best of luck. Foundation round question one. Generally, on the periodic table, as you move down a family, the ionization energy, A, remains the same, B, increases, C, increases or decreases, or D, decreases. 15 seconds are up. Flavian? Yes. This first question, kindly guide us on what the correct answer could be. The correct answer is D, the ionization energy decreases. Based on that answer, Damson, do you agree or do you disagree? I agree. You agree? Yeah. Here are the results of that first question. Earning 10 points, or rather the fastest three students were Hussein, Flavian, and Leon. Danson followed after with five points. No points for Aiden and Ronnie, but it is just the beginning. What matters is how you finish. Question two, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 1,080 degrees. How many sides has the polygon? Is it 12? Is it nine? Is it 10 or is it 8? What is the correct answer? Danson, what do you think it is? So, for that polygon, you have to first know how many triangles are in the polygon. We take a formula and say n minus 2 times 180, whereby n minus 2 is the number of triangles. So, what 180 minus n minus 2, we shall get 1080. So, then you work out and you get 8 as the answer. Eight is indeed the answer. Thank you very much, Danson. You've taken us through very well. Here are your scores for that second question. We proceed with question three. In which of the points on the conductor shown would electric charge tend to concentrate most? Is it at point three, point five, point four, or point two? That is the correct answer, option B. Take a look at the current results. Question four, hormones are produced by the what? Hormones are produced by 
the lungs, the brain, the endocrine glands or the kidney, which organ produces hormones. This is just question four. Best of luck in all the rest. Question number five. What type of reaction is shown in PBNO32 plus 2KCL giving PBCL2 plus 2KNO3? Is it double decomposition, substitution, decomposition or combination? Flavian, what type of reaction is it? Double decomposition. Why so? Because we have two soluble salts, that's lead nitrate and calcium chloride, reacting to give us lead chloride, which is an insoluble salt, and potassium nitrate, so it's double decomposition. Double decomposition is indeed the correct answer. Five contestants got it right. Question number six will mark the halfway point. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. Question six, in the diagram, Find the value of X. In that diagram, find the value of X. Is it 120 degrees, 90 degrees, 100 degrees, or 170 degrees? What is the value of X? The correct answer is option D, 170 degrees. Our contestants have already gone through six questions and this is how you have fared so far. These are your total points and average times. Question seven, who was the inventor of radar? Who was the inventor of radar? Is it Austin, Fleming, Bushwall, or Robert Watson? Who invented radar? The current result is as follows. 10 points to Hussein, 10 points to Flavian, 10 points to Ronnie and 5 to Danson. Question 8. A multicellular organism is made up of what? A multicellular organism is made up of multiple cells, a single nucleus, only cell walls or no nucleus at all. A question in biology. Based on the results, this one was easy peasy for all our contestants. All of them got points in that one. We move on to question nine. A chemical equation shown can be classified as what type of reaction? The chemical equation shown can be classified as what type of reaction? Is it reduction, displacement, decomposition, or double decomposition? Danson, what do you think the equation shows? That's a decomposition reaction. That is the correct answer. Question 10. What is the third term of an AP whose first term is minus 5 and the common difference is minus 3? Is it minus 13? Is it 7? Is it 1? Or is it minus 11? What is it? We have only two questions to go. Question 11. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. In which of the following devices is total internal reflection not applicable? The telescope, the microscope, the kaleidoscope, or the periscope? Danson? The microscope. Microscope is not the correct answer. In a kaleidoscope, total internal reflection is not applicable. The correct answer is option C, Aiden earning himself 10 points. For this season, question 12 is the final question in the foundation round. I do hope that all of you get it correct so that we close it in fashion. Contestants, here is question 12. The process in the given diagram explains what process in amoeba. A, binary fusion. B, binary fusion. C, mutation. Or D, budding. This is the last question for season three in the foundation round. We have just come to the end of the foundation round of the finale. Only four contestants can make it to the advanced round. The results are in. A contestant in first place had 80 points. In second place, 75 points. In third place, 55 points. In fourth place, 50 points in fifth position and unfortunately not proceeding any further in this final episode kindly give it up for aidan yusuf for having done incredibly well in this competition aidan thank you very much for gracing our stage this is it for now <clears throat> hussein yes. it is a tough race and fortunately not all of you can make it hussein 
you're moving on to the advanced round one step closer to the finish of the race. However, unfortunately, Leon Candier, this is the end of your Spark journey. You've done well, you've made everyone proud. Kindly give it out for Leon. Which leaves us with Flavian, Danson, Ronnie, and Hussein. They have made it to the second round. But who will fall out after that round? We'll find out very soon on Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. Two decades ago, we flipped the switch, flooded the dark continent with light, created an industry, opened the doors that ushered in the future. Africa is emerging, visionaries are evolving, but it wasn't always this way. Before the beginning, cash ruled the streets and crime was its aid. Africa was groping, coping with the darkness. Until we founded the switch and turned on the future. 20 years after, the dark continent is now bursting with innovation and we're just getting started. Until Africa is borderless, limitless, we are never stopping. Welcome to the Odyssey, the first experience. The future begins today. Are tuned in to Interstreet Spark Kenya National Science Competition 3.0. This is the best platform to see STEM students competing for the ultimate prize. There are only four of you on stage, 2.5 million Kenya shillings worth of scholarships up for grabs. Our contestants, 10 questions in 45 seconds. In order to determine the sequence of play, we take a turn. Here comes the take a turn question for today. Mark the following quantity with the appropriate unit. The unit abbreviations are A, S, K, G, and more. The quantities are mass, electric current, time, amount of substance. The contestants have already determined the answer to this puzzle. Going fast, we have Hussein, followed by Danson, then Flavian, then Roni. To our contestants, I would like to remind you that you are all brilliant. Out of all those minds that took those exams from school to the qualifying test to this competition, you have made it and you're the best four. No matter what happens, we are proud of each and every one of you. Hussein, you're going fast. Are you ready? My name is Hussein from Maranda High School and I'm ready to spark. Hussein, now is your time to spark. Oh amount of water vapor in the air is Immediate. called? In what part of the cell does protein synthesis Ribosome. occur? The respiratory organ present in flowering plants is? Pass. What is the term used for describing the ability of a solid to become into a thin sheet? Sodium salts of a long chain of oxalic acid that possess Pass. cleaning action are called. An angle that is less than 90 degrees is known as? What is the positive difference of minus 1 and minus 8? Minus 9. The productive part of a plant is the? Flower. Who is the longest serving monarch Pass. in the world history? The respiratory organ present in flowering plants is? Stomach. Sodium salts of a long chain of oxalic acid that possess? Pass. The angle that is less than 90 degrees is known as? Acute angle. It. Danson? Yes. Are you ready? My name is Danson Karaoke from Kapsabil Boys High School, Nandi County, and I'm ready to spark. Danson, now is your time to spark. Rice, bread, and cassava belong to what class of food? What type of reproduction involves the fusion of garments? Sexual. What is the most commonly used bleaching agent for disinfecting the drinking water Pass. supply? The process that converts liquid into soap and alcohol by action of aqueous alkali is timed as. Natural magnet is also called? Pass. The ability of a machine to overcome a large force with a lesser effort is? Pass. Which planet is known as the red planet? Mass. Who was the first president of Kenya? Jomo Kenyatta. How many dozens can be gotten from poor 80? 40. What is the sum of minus one and a half and one and a, half and a half? Negative one. What is the most commonly used bleaching agent for disinfecting bleaching Glory. water? The process that converts lipids into soap alcohol by the action of aqueous alkali is termed as? What is the process that converts lipid into soap and alcohol by the action of aqueous alkali? Pass. 
All right, that is it for Danson. <laughs> Flavian, yes. as you can tell, the race has gotten tougher, but you're up to the task. So Flavian, yes. are you ready? I'm Flavian Onyango and I'm ready to spark. Flavian, now is your time to spark. An object Pass. weighs 22 kgs in water, a piece of radioactive Pass. material. What is the pH of 0 0.001 molar solution? Which compound is referred to as the universal water. solvent? The point beyond the elastic limit in which a material yields all its elasticity is named Bre as? Breaking point. Solar radiation is measured by? Pass. The part of the computer that functions as the brain of the computer is called? Pass. What is Kenya's major export commodity? T. Simplify, 14 times 2 plus 5. 33. In a right angle triangle, if one angle 30. is 60 degrees, then the other angle, an object weighs 22 kgs in water and 30 in air. What is the outer is exerted? A piece of radioactive material contains 1,000 atoms. Which is, what is the pH of 0 0.01 molar solution? The point beyond the elastic limit Breaking in point. which solar radiation Pass. is measured by. Right, that is it. Well done, Flavian. Thank you very much. Thank you. The final contestant attempting 10 questions within 45 seconds, Ronnie. Are you ready? My name is Ronnie Andieri and I'm ready to spark. Ronnie, now is your time to spark. Organisms which consist of two or more Pass. cells are called? Organisms that cannot produce its own food is, now, is termed as? Pass. What type of reaction is involved in the conversion of ethanol to ethanoic acid? How many isotopes of hydrogen Three. are known? The bond between silicon and germanium is? Covalent. A fruit drops in the top of a tree for five meters tall. The time it takes the Pass. fruit to reach the ground. What is the smallest country in the world? Vatican City. Who discovered penicillin? Pass. The distance around a circular region is known as? Circumference. In the sequence, 2, 5, 8, 11, find the common difference? 13. Oh, 2. Organisms which consist of two or more cells are called? Pass. Organisms that cannot produce food on its own is called? Predators. What type of reaction is involved in the conversion of ethanol to ethanoic acid? A fruit drops on the top of a tree, 45 meters tall. The time it takes to, for the fruit to reach the ground is? 3. That is it for Ronnie. Ronnie, you've just gone last. What do you think about your performance in this particular round? I think it's okay, but I could have done better. Well, you've done very well, and I hope that we keep the spark alive. Flavian, where will we see you in future? Yeah, you'll see me around the world doing great things. Great things. Yes. In what industry? Medicine. Medicine. Yes. Danson, you also told us you'd become a cardiologist. Yeah. Hussein? Yes. A dentist. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. And I believe that you're going to do exploits in that field. There is a tie, which means we're going into the tiebreaker session. It is time for the sudden end segment. To the contestants who have tied, a question will appear on the screen. You will then have five seconds to attempt the question if you're the first to the buzzer. If you get it right, then you've definitely superseded your opponent. The tie at 140 points, we have Hussein and Danson going to the sudden end. Danson, are you ready? I'm ready. Hussein, are you ready? Here comes the sudden end question. How many protons does an element with a mass number of 40 and atomic number 18 have? Hussein, you're first to the buzzer. Attempt the question. 18. Hussein has provided his answer. However, we have to know if it is correct or incorrect. If it is incorrect, it means that he has fallen one step below Danson. Before we do so, the moment we've all been waiting for. With 120 points and earning a university scholarship worth 150,000 Kenya shillings, kindly warm it up and give it up for Ronnie, congratulations, you are. Congratulations, you received your award. Ronnie is the second runners up of this third season. Congratulations, Ronnie. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Ronnie, for bagging that prize. In the sudden end, Hussein provided an answer. He had tied in points with Danson. With 140 points from the advanced round of this competition, kindly give it up for Danson from Kapsabet High. Congratulations, Danson.
You have done exceptionally well and everyone is proud of you. You have earned for yourself a laptop, a certificate of participation and a university scholarship worth 750,000 Kenya shillings. <laughs> extremely well. Congratulations. And now to award our winner, the best STEM student in Kenya on this third season of Industry Spark Kenya 3.0. Help me welcome with a round of applause, Miss Cherry Eromosele. <laughs> Being awarded the grand prize is Hussein. Do come to the front. You have won yourself a five-year university scholarship worth 1.5 million Kenya shillings. Give it up, Hussein. Congratulations on behalf of Interest Group. We're very proud of you. Congrats. wonderful show well done well won we have unveiled the winner of interstreet spark kenya 3.0 what a proud moment we would like to say a big thank you to our sponsors interswitch a big thank you to the kenyan ministry of education thank you to all the teachers the chaperones all those who are comforting and supporting our students and of course a big thank you to all the participants who were well up to the challenge you can be the next Hussein and bag yourself the ultimate prize in next season. If you'd like to participate, just register your school for the next season and I might just see you on stage. Till next time, I have been your delighted host, Faith Miner, and I hope that you keep shining as bright as the stars. It has been the third season of Industry Spark Kenya 3.0. Proudly switched on by Interswitch. Never stop. InterSwitch Spark is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative.